We're in a new city. Welcome to Rhonda. What better way to start out a new city than in front of one of the 18 churches here? Look how pretty that is. Now Rhonda, like other cities around here, was first built by the Romans and then the Moors invaded it and then the Spanish took it over. So there's a mix of culture and architecture and very cool stuff that we're gonna go explore and I cannot wait to show you. Now with this, you could totally see anybody who's trying to come up and attack your city. Oh, buddy, I see you. Now down there, they just grow grapes and wine and all sorts of cool stuff. Now it's time to go into Puerto Cuatro. What is it? The Cuatro de the Day Forest. We're gonna see the old bullfighting place. I guess it's still in use. So, this is the Puerto del Cerrado, but I was told to wait here. So I will be a good civilian in the lake. Even though that's the Andrada. Go in the back door. <laughs> the board are they totals. Look at this. I think we should do handstands on cartwheels inside here. Right? Oh look, you could like sit in a certain seat with a number on it. I wonder if it's like the Roman times where you have like special nameplate numbers. Where would the the best seats be, I wonder? Okay. So I haven't figured out what this thing means, but pretty cool initials. I approve. So on the walls here, we have all sorts of ribbons. So I bet you could get this ribbon if you got first place. Maybe if you were motorboated by a bull, you got that award. And we have the second place ribbon here. I actually have no idea I'm all making this up here. And chain your horse or your bull to the outside of the bullfighting rink before you like go inside and fight it. I don't actually know if that's lore or legend, but it sounds, sounds predictable. Or you could like, if you're into varieties of um, adult entertainment, you could put your person on a leash here. Totally legit. Park your horse, park your bull, park your person. What's in here? Okay, so I've escaped a crowd. I'm not sure I'm supposed to, but take a look at this. Look at all of these beautiful stairs. There's like a different pattern on every stair. How cool is this? So now we're at the, we're going towards the top of the bullfighting arena. Now just imagine like it's, I don't know, 1700s and you're wearing cool clothes and the roar of the crowds as you walk out this door and the stadium is packed and there's animals in the middle and there's all sorts of entertainment and absolutely like a bunch of music look at that and then you'd come you'd find your seat so you'd pick a number and maybe our number is 113 because that's a nice prime number so we'd come to 113 i don't know which one it would be it would be this one here and we'd sit here and then we'd watch in the shade of everything we'd watch the scorching sun just like beat down on the whole fire do their thing. It should be called man fighting, like the bulls were fighting the men. I don't think the vice versa. There's a really pretty door over here. We're gonna go try to go to this pretty door. 
Check this out. So this is from $16.79. So this is the Plaza de Mayor in Madrid. But you can see like all of the people up here. And there's all sorts of parades. Oh, we've reached a new part. This is cool. Okay, so this is where the Toros. Casa de Toro. Mission, mission, mission. Yes, mush, mush, mush. That's what I do. What's in you? Look at all of that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So allegedly, this camera does good in the dark. We're gonna test it out, but I think we're gonna have a light because it's really dark. Check this out. This is where. The animals would have been kept. And you could put some food over here for them. This isn't a very nice place for animals. Okay, now we're approaching the real reason that we came to Rhonda. It's something that I've seen before, but it was too good, so I wanted to come here and get it on camera. So it was far before I had a camera. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Do you see what I see? Yes. Okay, now this looks way better like early in the morning, early at night when you have a golden hour. But take a look at this and just imagine people like back in 50 AD building this massive structure across this canyon. Isn't that cool? Like, that thing is really, really deep. It's pretty impressive. And on the other side, what we can see are all of these gardens. And even more, more little archways, little gardens to walk around in. How cool would it be to live here, right? Take a look at this wall. So now we're just going to go walk around and explore this old town and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what we're going to be exploring. We are here. This was the Plaza of Bulls so we're going to go walk around in this little area over here and then pop out on this wall because I want to show you guys this wall here. It's pretty cool. And then we have to end up way over here I think. Right there for our bus stop. So that should be enough steps for today to, oh, to earn me a view of that beautiful building. Oh, not beautiful. Ooh, ooh, that's a song. Oh, look it. Okay. Now we're wandering down the streets of the town. You can see it's buildings built very close together and they're all white and this is the whole Arab influence of building stuff close together and the other reason they built it close together was that it was really hard to come in here and surprise people. Like it's really hard to invade with a massive army. You can see them and it's really easy to pick people off in this. It's also super shady. So outside today it's about 41 degrees here i mean it's probably still 41 but this is bearable the birds even like it so now we're just wandering down the streets Ooh, what is that up there oh we're going down this way beautiful door Guys, I am so hungry. So both yesterday and today, I've gotten up at like 4 a.m. And of course that early, like I'm not hungry. And by the time, what is it? 
It's one o'clock right now. By the time one o'clock comes, I have to have so long. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Now, how cool will it that that English? Now, how cool would it have been to be one of the Moors rolling into this town and just like appreciating these hanging gardens? that the Romans left, or the roads and the streets. Like, yeah, right now, you can tell they've been built on and they're newer, like they're full of cobblestone. But just to have like a full city to build even another city and civilization on top of, like this would have been epic. I really think that the people of North Africa made a solid decision. I mean, look how beautiful and quiet and peaceful this place is. Hola, que tal? Oh, bonita puerta. Okay, the org chart on this one is a bit strange. So it looks like we have four CEOs and two of them have to urinate. Well, I hope they take care of that. Okay, now we're approaching one of the coolest things. We're approaching one of the gates to the city. So it's on this massive hill and that huge arch that you saw, like that's how high the city is. So this is one of the gates that you would have to enter before. Okay. Bum, bum. Abierto. The canyon. And look at all these stairs. Like, you can literally walk all the way to the bottom and see, like, we have so many arches and all sorts of cool stuff down here. How cool would it be to have lunch right there on that little roof? Enjoy these stairs with me. Look at this. We're not going up these because I've already had too many stairs today. Look how pretty that is. Over here, you can see part of the fortress that's still up there and like even right in front of us. So the city was all surrounded by walls. So then you had to figure out how to bridge, break, go through the walls in order to get through the city. Well, someone's gone through the street. Maybe it was a conquistadors who kicked more out. It looks like they heavily succeeded. Okay, now we've reached the hammam. And now take a look at this. So this was built back in like 700 AD. And all of these would be arches with tiles and mosaics on them. You'd walk in here and in the middle, you'd have a nice like cover over this thingy and you could do some bathing. And then you'd come in this little door. And then you'd step up here into another one of the pools and take a look you can still see how the engravings are still here so you have this fishbone type pattern and then we have some other patterns up here and you can see in the ceiling we have all sorts of very cool designs and then as we go into the next room this would have been the steam room, so this would have been super hot. Like underneath the floor, there would have been all sorts of coals and heat. And then you would have come in here, and there would have been massage beds and all sorts of like bodywork stuff. So you'd have all of the steam, and then you fill up to smell. And then you would get your bodywork done. And just like look at how much is around here. I saw a 
baby lizard. Baby lizard! Baby. Hola, baby. You're in the vlog. Yeah. Oh, okay. Baby lizard shy. It's so hot. I need to get back in the city to cool off. I think I'm pretty certain I need a beer. So I'm gonna go find that and I'll see you either at a beer or a city. Whatever sounds cooler. Or something. And I was scared for a second the magic fountain was gonna be closed, but it's not, which is good. So this is the magic fountain. And I don't know the lore behind it. I just remember, no, it's magical. So if you come up here, though there's all sorts of bees. Maybe bees are magical too. You can push a button and the water out of it. See? Magic water, magic water. Oh, it's hot. It's so hot. Okay, time to find your cerveza. This street is too big to provide me shade. I feel like we need some Arabic influence. We could stick like five more rows of houses. And then I would be cool. We have our own covers. We provided that place called Los Con Condilas. Condilas. Los Condilas. Well, the reason that I picked this place amongst the billion places here are there's like a massive church cathedral type thingy over here. So yet another one of the 18, thank you, one of the 18 churches that we have here. And it's pretty cool to look at, so why not? And we have a Los Pon. A Sharpe? Sharpe? No, I think that's French. 